Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Gaming Griffin. This is our Walking Dead. And if you don't remember, we are looking for a way Shit, to read... this is it. Instructions these. on starting the engine. Because apparently somebody tore Damn, them off. pages ago. Don't ask me why. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Which means we just need to find a way to read this. What's out here? Wow, I'm kind of impressed the tracks are still clear. Okay, that's just uncalled for. And you know, Ben, you could have mentioned this one. Kids might like those. Oh, damn it. Seriously? I felt those things were designed to save lives. You know, that's just a little sarcastic. Alright, we should be able to take this deal. Oh. This door's gonna hurt. Pinned in there. Uh, you know, you could just. Can't get at him Oh, lame. Good sir. Fine. Good. Okay. You aren't gonna like this. Crack it. Uh. Can I go around? Oh, man. You better be sure you did a good job. Alright, back out. Ben, you got some splendid to do. It's in pretty good shape for a wreck. Huh. Alright, well let's go... Let's go feed and water the children, shall we? Oh, I guess we're not quite there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Aren't you supposed to be standing guard? Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It Aww. doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Man, lady, you're, you're in for... You're kind of in for... Here, I found this. If Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Sure. Oh, my. We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. Thank you for your sincere efforts, twat. How's that? Oh dear. I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Oh. Exactly. Sheesh. Have you heard anything out of Lillian there? Not a peep. That's not a I don't like that. good thing. She's probably in shock. She did a monstrous thing. Yeah. Has Clementine said anything to you about Doug or Duck or anything? I'm worried about it. No. <laughs> that little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, no, she's she just tough. Period. Poor Doug. God, where did yesterday go? Where did yesterday go so wrong? I don't know. You were standing right there. Are you doing okay? Eh, uh, I'm fine. It's just such a waste. He was a good guy. Yeah. I liked him very much. He'd spent some time in Belgium. Where your family's from? Yes. Even further away now. Aww. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Is Ken all right? What is he doing? He's put his mind to figuring out the train. What about you? Same thing, sort of. I uh, found some instructions, but I can't read them. Oh. Well, I'm sure someone can help you. Yep, I'll go figure that out then. Uh... Hey, Clementine, you got any pencils? Hey, Clem. What are you going to do with Lily? Oh. I don't know. Something, I suppose. 
I don't know what we can do. She killed him. Yeah, it, it's horrible. Yeah, but just killing her isn't the answer either. It's a crappy situation. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Okay. Oh, dear. Alright, back to the RV, huh? Nothing about this is gonna end well for me, is it? I just hope she doesn't kill me. Well, she didn't smack me right on... Uh, in the console, maybe? Ah, I see a pencil. Hello. You know, she's just gonna grab that gun. I'm gonna put that right out there. Oh, crap. I'm leaving. Go. Now! Come with me. We Hell can take no. the RV right now. He left the keys in it. Hell no. Come on, Lily. Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! Lily! Come back here, you crazy bitch! Fuck! Stop! Wow. We didn't leave her, but she just dropped and ran on us. Should have left her by the side of the road. Let's focus on the train. <sighs> uh, well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Uh, there's, there've been worse places to spend a night. Yeah, that's gonna be the problem, though. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. How's that gonna fix it? Man. Nothing about this situation is in the okay side of the fence here. There we go. Okay, now I can move. Couldn't move for a second there. That's one hell of a mess. Woof. Uh, alright, let's... Let's go see about starting an engine, shall we? Alrighty. Man, I am... Ah. Uh, I probably should have just left her on the side of the room. Ugh. Chewy. I hadn't noticed that before, but oh well. Alright. Take the pencil to it. Don't press too hard. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Oh, crap. Am I actually supposed to remember these? Uh, 6599. Alright, 6 down to... Oh, crap. I have no idea what that means. Uh, should I... Okay, we should probably get people on the train. They'd be safer there than sitting out in the middle of nowhere anyway. Well, not to mention, we're gonna have to... Yeah, but, but this thing's probably going to be loud, so... I'm thinking... What, you can't just hop across? Pansy. Alright, let's see here. We have to decouple the one behind it, right? Boxcar door... Boxcar door... Seriously, I can't step on the mattress? What do you think? You're gonna get it dirty or something? Oh, for the love of. Alright. Uh. Oh, now you can step up? But you, you won't decouple or see what's in that. Ah, Lee. You're making me a little bit sad here, pal. Gonna say that. Alright, let's go sock and see if we can get everybody in the boxcar. We want everybody ready to go when we start this thing up. Alright. 
in the Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? No, get her in the car. Oh. Yeah. I don't think Duck feels good. Oh. Yeah, me neither. Oh, man. That's going to be an ugly situation later. Ben, get them in the car. Make yourself Have you heard or seen anything out here? No sign of whatever lives in the train. Keep it down. I don't want you scaring the kids. Too late. All right, so I guess I actually have to see if this thing starts before we'll load them onto the train. Because, you know, we could just seal that up and it would make a decent place to spend the night if we had to. Uh, nobody reads the manual. All right, let's see here. So, six. Use notepad with console. Six, down, down, up, 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 down, up. Oy vey. Down, down, up, 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 down, up. Six. This goes up. This goes up. This goes up. Down, up. Ah! Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! Huh. So awesome. far, so good. All right. Uh, what was next? Oops, oops. Let's see here. Five. Huh. Huh. Which one's number five? This one? Yep. So I guess I turn the dial? Oh, no, there's two dials. Now we're talking. Yeah. All right. That was number nine, I think. All right, so left then right. Okay, uh, eight, seven, no nine. There is no nine. Um, screw. Can I just take those maps? Trust me, I, I, I'd make better use of them than you will. Because you apparently don't believe in planning. Uh, there was one of these had switches. Um, open this one. Open this one. Uh, hello. Ah, here's... It was... Left. Low oil. That's no good. And then... Right. <laughs> Holy shit! We're golden! Uh, this thing's loud. This thing is loud. So what? We're barreling down the tracks at 40 miles an hour. I don't care about the noise. You probably should. Let's because fucking it's be enjoy this. Oh, Mom, I'm not sure let's see if she'll move. She won't. She's probably still attached to the. Uh, nothing about this is gonna end well. It's all yours. Like I know. Uh, throttle. Okay. Sure. Goose it a little. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Damn it. Duh. We're still attached. Thank you. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Sure, why not? That's not like I'm... You know, we kind of have people we need to get on. Because... Uh, nobody reads the manual. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. Get everybody on board, okay? This should be. Get back up here. Get everybody on. If we're gonna do this, let's go. You touch any of my stuff? Oh, jeez, no, Hey, hey. Okay, I took some water. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I took the map of the train routes. That's fine, you can have that. Huh? Really? Yeah, I got them all right up here. Oh, wow, we're dealing with a professional logo. I guess it's no worse for wear. 
Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yep. Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? <laughs> but I couldn't force myself to do it. <laughs> You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. <laughs> Okay. Um. You met Chuck. Yeah. Couldn't have warned me about that one. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. Wait, that's normal? He gave us candy. Ben, too. You're the worst guard ever. So. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kitty? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> oh. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Aw, thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Yeah. Let, let's... Uh, you know what? We could use some decent people. Oh, yeah. Let's get to know you, Chuck. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Huh? Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy, you saw where I live. <laughs> Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, man. Can't argue that one. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. Aww. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids, and this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. I, I think I like this crazy old dude. He, he could be fun times. How you doing, Ben? And watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? I, 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 don't get sassy with me, son. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. You coming with us, old dude? Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. <laughs> That's a yes, then. I am not find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Hey, don't yell at her. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Go give him a hand. Where's Ben and all that? Let's just get this done then. We are going to have such a horde on our asses. Such a horde. I like you, old dude. You seem cool. You, <laughs> idiot. Just stay tough, girl. That's not gonna be a fun situation to deal with. That's gonna be ne pretty much what's. Oh man, that's gonna suck. Oh, that's kind of big and really creepy.
I mean, we're covering some good territory. That's, that's good, but holy crap, I wish we had something quieter. You gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. Hey. There were more of us. Dad, get them. Living did. No. Ah, living got him. <laughs> Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Get that off his Could face. Could you just get that off his face, please? I can do that. Oh, that... that's... He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Jeez. Oh, lady. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Because what's gonna come next? You need to stop the train. Just do it, dude. Trust me. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. He won't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. I... What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. We're not. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? No. You're not my friend! I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. No, that's bullcrap. You couldn't save Herschel's son then? And you can't save Duck now. Shut your mouth! So you're running like a coward. Doesn't need you. You need to get your shit together. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this. And you bet your ass I'm gonna. I need to calm down. I don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck. Calm your ass. Down. You want to hurt people because you're afraid. Losing duck ain't enough for you. Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this. I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen. Calm the fuck down. Say goodbye to your kid. Again, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Aww. What do you need? I... I... Katja. It's time to... This is not possible. Just let me take him. What are we gonna do? 
Just, just let me take him. We can't him. allow him to become one of those things. But what if, what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Kat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. No. I'll do it. You, no. You? It should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please ride, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and I, just let that be it. I don't know. Yes, Lee. You, you'd be doing this family a great service. I am very happy to do that. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Thank you for your consideration. Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Yeah. I, I hate to say this, but I should be kind of going behind him to make sure Walker doesn't ambush him. Oh. Yeah. What's happening? Oh, oh God, how do I explain this one? I'm... I'm gonna take care of Doc. I thought he was going to die. I'm putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are... Oh, what the... Oh, shit. No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Oh, crap. Tell me they didn't get walkers. Come on. Come on. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, what? What? What's going on? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Get! Get! Gotcha! Oh, man. Uh, Why? Get! Honey. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, there's there's I, a I Oh, can you just just walk away for a minute? I'll deal with it and be right behind you. I'm sorry, dude. I'm so so sorry. Oh, dude. No. No, you, you let me deal with this. Walk away. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, duck, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I... Oh, dude, you didn't have to watch that. You did not have to watch that. You could have walked away and I would not have thought less of you.
You want to talk? Uh-uh. You, uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think it's about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. Wait, what? No the fuck he did. I swear. Sorry. I'm going to some <laughs> sense into it. Don't be mad. Man, dude, do you really have to... Hey. How you doing? Not so gay. I don't care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. Man, you have to be an asshole. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? Uh... I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We yeah. get to Savannah, and then what? Thank you! We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. Yeah, I know. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They I continue have. to like this guy. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. <sighs> you have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. <laughs> I mean, when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. You know what? Everybody's homeless right now, and I don't want to talk about. Be this safe up here. You betcha. All right. Well, I'm gonna go cry in a corner and then go take this this guy who the par homeless dude who apparently actually read the zombie survival manual. So with that, this is the Gaming Griffin signing off. <laughs>